Tu stealth bomber becomes first fighter aircraft with deadly B-61-12 nukes. Big boost for US Air Force. Welcome to my YouTube channel and I am iBoot if you want more videos subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell. The National Nuclear Security Administration's NNSA New and Classified Stockpile Stewardship and Management Plan SSMP 2024 report published on November 27 contained this information. The NNSA, together with the U.S. military, manages the country's nuclear stockpile. Some of the U.S. stockpile's oldest nuclear weapons are from the B-61 family. Reports from over the years have suggested that the latest B-61-12 bomb will eventually replace the older variants, including the B-61-3, minus 4, and minus 7. However, a timeline for that remains elusive for now. The first B-61-12 production run was finished in late 2021, and the weapons were initially supplied to the U.S. military in 2022. The B-61-12 program essentially a life extension initiative started by the Obama administration, is expected to conclude in 2025. The maximum yield of the B-61-12 is reportedly 50 kilotons. The B-61-12 is an 825-pound, 12-foot-long bomb with an inertial navigation system, INS, guidance package. It comprises both new parts such as the precision guiding tail kit and reconditioned components all of which have varying yields from the previous B-61 variants. As per previously available information, the missile is fitted with one of the most adaptable warheads in the U.S. arsenal, allowing it to be used as a low or medium yield weapon by adjusting its explosive strength to suit the target. It also features miniature rockets at the back of the body that rotate the bomb to stabilize it. The B-61-12 is also undergoing certification for use by the U.S. Air Force's F-35A Joint Strike Fighters, F-15E Strike Eagles, and F-16C, D Vipers, as well as the service's upcoming B-21A Raider Stealth Bombers. Additionally, as part of the NATO alliance's nuclear sharing agreements, Germany's swing-wing tornado combat jets and some NATO F-16s and F-35s will also be authorized to use these missiles. The integration of the bomb on the B-2 Spirit Bomber is significant due to its stealth characteristics, which are expected to allow the bomber to get past enemy air defenses and conduct the planned strike. Being one of the most resilient aircraft in the world, the B-2 Stealth Bomber is an essential part of the USAF's long-range strike capability. The B-61-12 has been undergoing flight testing on the B-2 and other aircraft for many years. The NNSA declared in 2018 that it had finished the first round of end-to-end -end qualification flight tests on the B-2 while the bomb was still being developed. The B-62's nuclear armament options still include the B-61-7, B-61-11, and B-83-1 bombs, according to the NNSA's most recent SSMP report. The Spirit is the only aircraft authorized to use any of these bombs. It is not known when the B-61-12 will be cleared for use with the F-35, F-15, F-16, or any other NATO aircraft. The B-61-12 on the F-15E and F-35A has already received the first certification, as NNSA and the U.S. Air Force revealed. Just earlier this month, the Royal Netherlands Air Force announced that its F-35A stealth fighter jet was to be certified as a dual-capable aircraft. DCA, by January 2024 with the capability to carry the B-61-12 nuclear bomb. The B-61-12 has been made combat ready at a time when the U.S. is bolstering its nuclear strike capabilities to counter the challenge from adversaries like Russia, China, Iran, and North Korea, which pose a stated threat to Washington and its partners and allies. Moreover, Integrating the B-61-12 on B-2 Spirit comes days after the Biden administration announced the development of a more advanced B-61 variant. Thanks for watching like this video and subscribe my YouTube channel.